Hi folks, Unitic here, November 23rd, Saturday, just getting ready to enter Mount Rogers National Recreation Area in far southwestern Virginia. And I want to do a quick video, I'm not sure how much memory is left on this uh, SD card, but I've had several subscribers to my YouTube channel request a video on tick checks and uh, the safety of hiking the Appalachian Trail. One of them even expressed um, increased fear of hiking the AT because of ticks based on my videos, which is the exact opposite of what I want to inspire. You know, think about where I am. I've been out here for four, almost four and a half months now, and I have not pulled a single tick off of me. And one of the primary reasons I'm convinced is the clothing I'm wearing. I have a friend and fellow through hiker who finished his northbound hike um, earlier this year, Dr. Carl Ford, who uh, also did a study while he was hiking the AT on uh, ticks at AT shelters and uh, surveying the populations, the species, and the pathogens that they carry. And uh, he endorses this clothing too. One brand name is called Insect Shield, which is the company that actually makes the fabric impregnated with permethrin, guaranteed for up to 70 washings that will still be effective against ticks. And he had the same experience I did, have so far. He hiked the whole trail northbound in the height of tick season in some of the worst infected states, you know, anywhere from Virginia on up to Pennsylvania and Connecticut, Massachusetts. You know, Lyme is in more states than those, but they're some of the worst. He saw a lot of fellow through hikers, northbounders, going through that height of that nymphal tick season. You know, as early as March on up through July, when the tiny nymphal ticks are out in mass, the ones that spread most of these pathogens because people get bitten by them and don't even know they're sick. He did not pull a single tick off of himself for his whole through hike, but he saw a lot of northbound friends that did. So insect shield clothing. I have a shirt, pants, zip off pants. I have gaiters that go down around my shoes. My pants are tucked into those and I even have insect shield socks on. The vast, vast, vast majority of ticks are going to get on you typically from the waist down from low-lying vegetation where they crawl out to the edge and they do something called questing and they wait for the environmental signals that a warm-blooded mammal is coming down the trail and try to lop onto your clothing or the fur of an animal leg and most of the time they're down low. Now if you know that you know when to do a tick check. Don't wait till the end of the day. You know, do it at the end of the day too. But when you pass through territory that's prime tick environment, and we're talking overgrown areas in humid locations, down low typically, what Dr. Ford confirmed was a lot of these AT shelters are way up high, and even in the height of tick season, you didn't see a very large tick population. He collected very few specimens early in his hike. Um, ticks have to have humidity to survive. They become desiccated, basically dried out and die if they are in uh, dry areas, sunny areas. So what I'm passing through right now is basically a, a mountain laurel stand. A lot of moisture, retains moisture. If there was overgrown areas through here, this could be tick habitat where brush would scrape up against your pants or your shirt. So insect shield clothing, it works. You can buy it pre-made. You can send your own clothing into Insect Shield. They will treat it, send it back to you, and guarantee it for 70 washings. Or you can treat your own with spray on permethrin, which doesn't last near as long, but does work. So, number one defense do tick checks immediately after passing through an area where you brushed up against undergrowth and tick habitat. Really, really look from the waist down. But check high if it was an overgrown area that's hitting you in the shoulders or the torso. You know, I've got this shirt on. They get on me high. They're going to get off or they're going to die. They stay on this fabric long enough. Carry a mirror, small handheld mirror, for your nightly tick checks of groin areas, behind the knees, armpits, places you can't easily see, places ticks love where blood vessels are close to the surface and where they can hide out. And it's typically moist, soft tissue. 
um, they're not going to bite you through your clothes. They have to attach themselves to your skin and they have to be able to stay on for as much as 48 hours to finish their feeding cycle for their benefit. So tick checks at night with that mirror. A mirror is a great thing for your emergency kit to use as a signal mirror too, so you ought to have it anyway. And have a buddy, as Dr. Ford talked about in the recent email, he had a buddy that would check his back. Dr. Ford would do a close check of his scalp and his groin area in camp at night and uh, keep his hair cut very short. He also wore an insect shield hat with a drape that went down over his neck to give him extra protection in the head area. So again, he and I, North Bounder, South Bounder, haven't pulled a tick off of ourselves the entire trip. We're out here enjoying ourselves. We're relatively stress-free, but we're well informed and knowledgeable about the facts of tick-borne illness, the way the ticks operate, where they live, and where the risks are. So information is power. That's why we're trying to share these videos with you. Do not take fear from my experience out here because it's not what I'm carrying. I'm right back out here and believe you me, I know the, pardon my French, hell of chronic Lyme disease firsthand and I'm still out here enjoying nature, but much better prepared than I was a few years ago, which is what I want for you guys. So, those are some keys. Simple, um, fact-based, and uh, something everybody can do. And get out and hike, get out and enjoy this. Just know the facts, be prepared, take precautions, and uh, enjoy this wonderful national resource. The AT is amazing. So no fear here, just knowledge. And uh, have a great day, and look forward to seeing you out here on the trail sometime soon. I know a lot of you Lyme patients have texted or messaged me that this is still a dream of yours, and a big part of why I'm out here is to hopefully keep that dream alive for every one of you all that Everybody can move through, can journey through Lyme. And uh, there may be a new normal for you. There is apparently for me, but uh, you know, it's still good. It's still very good and it can be good again for you. And that's my, that's my hope for you for the day. So strength and courage, Viet Animo, um, Unitic out for today.